Welcome to another brand episode of Harry Charmier YouTube channel and uh, we're gonna start this video off a little bit different. Right now we're driving the Tundra and we're coming back down from Arkansas and uh, well my dad's up front in his uh, 5.3 or 4.8 I'm not sure exactly what it is I don't remember I think it's a 4.8. 4.8 2006 Silverado or not Silverado GMC Sierra and I am in my 2006 Toyota Tundra with the 4.7 and uh, well I'm gonna see if he's down for a quick little uh, race. If we can make it to this town before. Watch. Here we go. Is that a cop? No, that's not a cop. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Watch. Oh, shit, he's coming! He's coming! No! Ha! Ha! The Tundra! I force baby! Woo! Gapped it. Yeah! That's a little different for uh, intro, but uh, hope y'all guys liked it. Um, anyway, now let's get back to the original video. Hi guys, welcome, and thanks for tuning back in for another video. On today's video, what we're going to be doing is putting together the 4.8 finally the time has come and I have gathered up all the parts to finish the 4.8 we've got heads oil pan everything everything's clean and ready to go we can freshly polished crank look at that check that thing out that thing is perfectly mint we have the push rods we have we have the rocker arms inside of the bucket full of oil ready to be lubed up or they're already pre-lubed we got literally everything. We have a lot of goodies that are inside the house, ready to go on this motor. And I can't wait for y'all to see this. It's gonna be exciting. Hopefully, maybe starting it up, maybe this weekend, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna be installing the main bearings in a second. We just got the block mains cleaned. And now I'm gonna put the uh, main bearings in the journals right there and we are gonna once we do that we will install the crankshaft and after we install the crankshaft we'll install the mains themselves here we go all right we have just installed the first set of bearings i don't know if y'all can see them too well the camera's not focusing install the first set of bearings well you can see it better right there that is a thrust bearing it helps with the uh, crankshaft end play before it's back on the engine all right oh you got assembly lube yeah all right it's in that box huh uh i got one in the in the in the cart uh, in this cart? No, in the cart. Look, right there. Right there. Engine assembly lube. Alright, so we're going to put assembly lube on the bearings themselves. And then we are going to seat the crank on top of there. And before that, or well, we'll put the crank on there, spin it over a couple times, get the crank lubed up, and then. Once we do that, I'll put the bearings on the mains. Once we do that, we'll put the mains on and tighten them down. And then it's off to the rod bearings and piston rings. All right, so right now what we're gonna do is a time lapse of us putting assembly lube on these bearings and assembling the main caps and everything else.
All right, guys. So we just installed all the main caps. Well, we have we don't. The outer bolts aren't on there at the moment, but they're on. And crank has been installed. Believe it or not, it's only been 10 minutes, and we already got all that on. And I'm about to tighten these down and keep going. All right, recap real fast. So notice that we don't have the front two mains on, right? Well, whenever we put the first and second main caps on the crank or on the engine and bolt it down, see how the crank spins really easily like this? When we bolt those two down, the crank seizes as if one of these is bent. If not, maybe both of them are bent. So, this is not recommended, but we have this old 5.3 right here the parts engine that I had and uh, well we're going to be using uh, the mains first and second main off of that engine which is not authorized by any dealer <laughs> or us but we're gonna do it because this is a junkyard as hell build so uh, oh also the bearings in there they're the old bearings they're not even new bearings might as well save those other bearings right yeah, we're just going to save the new bearings that we bought for uh, some other engine later down the road. Who knows? And we actually grabbed the bearings straight off of uh, this 5.3 right here. That 5.3 right there. Yeah, we took the mains off of it. And as you can see, this engine has been sitting outside and is very, very rusty. So... Like I said, full send build. We really don't care at the moment, as long as this thing turns on. Okay, so we're back. It is now dark, but we have figured out our main cap issue. If you look now, all the mains are in, and it spins freely. Oh, thank God. Anyway, turns out this main cap needed to be turned around, which is weird because the only way for this crank to spin is if this one and this one are facing, well, this one and this one are facing back. Yet, this one, this one, and this one face forward. But this one's normally the one that faces forward, and all of these face with it. But, if this one or this one face back, like this one and this one, it won't turn. And if these two face that way, it won't turn. So now we have two facing this way and two facing this way, which is weird. Never seen that before, but it works, so we're going to send it. And just like that, guys, we have the pistons installed. We have one head installed, about to finish installing the next head. Once we do that, we will install the valley cover and all that other mess. But just about everything is installed. We're just missing a few other little knickknacks, and after that, we will be putting the engine in the car, maybe one of these days. All right, guys, so right now what we're gonna be doing is torquing down this head, and after that, well, let's just torque down the head first. <sighs>
All right guys, we just finished installing the heads and torquing them down. Now we're gonna install the push rods. But these are not stock 5.3 push rods. They're actually LS6 push rods because we installed an LS6 cam timing chain and other accessories. Springs. Also put LS6 springs in there as well. But uh, now we're gonna install the uh, push rods in there. One, two, three, skip a few, done. And just like that, we have finished the rocker arms and it installed all the push rods as well and rocker arms on both sides. And now we are ready to put and install the valve covers. Just put, cleaned up these valve cover gaskets, put them on and uh, just about everything on this engine is used. Nothing's brand new, except for like 16 piston rings. No, 14 piston rings, because two of them are uh, <laughs> two of them are from the old 5.3. So, all right. Here we go. So we have completed the engine, but now we're at a stopping point because my truck intake, wherever it's at, where we put it? oh, right here, my truck intake is missing a plug right there so we decided that uh, we're not going to use this intake anymore so we're going to go to the junkyard on Saturday sorry about that guys take that back we're actually going to be using the truck intake I'm going to be making a video on it showing y'all how I'm going to literally shave the top of the intake and all that ugliness off and make it look kind of like a low budget holly high ram style intake so uh we're going to use the intake and also we will be installing the engine today. But that's for next video. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Smash that like button and have a freaking awesome day. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds bling, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing. Frozen, catch me rolling. I'm the chosen. Snow is falling.